Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining about super productive AI offering from AWS, which is called Amazon Q. So let's get started. Amazon Q is nothing but a generative AI assistant within the AWS infrastructure and some of the business applications. There are three different categories, Q developer, Q business and Q apps. So for the Q developer, I'll also do a hands-on demo uh, using the AWS console and also on the terminal. Okay, so we'll first understand the differences. So when it comes to the user's perspective, uh, Q developers are primarily used by developers, DevOps and IT teams, any technical teams. Uh, Q business are used by some of the business users, analysts, and then some non-technical uh, users. And on the Q apps, uh, anybody in the organization uh, can use uh, the Q apps. Coming to the purpose, um, the Q developer, the purpose of Q developer is to accelerate some of the coding, debugging, modernization, even if you want to do any performance tuning or um, any optimization, uh, we can make use of Q developer. And Q business um, can be used for uh, summarizing some of the data set, uh, which may be present on S3 or some database. Um, and on the Q apps, um, you know, Primarily, you can build the uh, lightweight AI powered apps using the natural uh, language. Coming to the interface, uh, Q, uh, Q developers can be accessed via any IDE. Uh, it can be Visual Studio Code or IntelliJ or uh, even AWS Console or even the terminal. Okay, and the Q business um, interfaces are uh, within the AWS Console or even some of the business apps like you know Slack, Teams, or uh, CRM. Uh, tools like a uh, Salesforce, Microsoft, anything of that sort. Okay, and um, the Q apps can use any any of the interface which is um, inside the Q business to create any applications, and that application can be accessed by anybody in that organization. And some of the key capabilities of Q developer is to generate a brand new code or make any enhancements to the existing code, refactor, or even debugging or um, can be used for any security scanning, optimization, modernization. Let's assume that you know you have you want to create a lambda code, how to you know, optimize certain you know resources within the AWS. You know we can do that. So there are multiple you know use cases to it. And similarly for Q business, um, it can connect to any of the enterprise systems and generate reports, dashboard, and summarize some of the data, uh, which is you know structured and also unstructured data. And also it helps us to automate business workflows. Okay, and then Q apps, um, they basically convert uh, the natural language instructions into mini apps and also automate some of the repetitive tasks and share uh, apps with the team securely and uh, take an advantage of, uh, you know, this bundled app. So here are some of the prompt examples uh, for Q developer. You can ask um, the Q developer uh, to write a Python code to upload the file to S3 along with some error handling converting uh, or upgrading the Java versions, uh, debugging any Lambda functions, or even you can suggest uh, you know, IAM policies um, and also some of the optimization related to EC2, whether uh, the EC2 is properly used or not. You can check the storage, you can check the you know usage, resources, memory, and then the cost. Uh, there are several factors to it. Okay, and Q business um, examples are to summarize last quarter sales by region. So if you have a, this data set in the database or S3 file, you can uh, ask the Q business to generate the report. And also you can uh, show me some of the customer support tickets by priority within the Salesforce uh, CRM tool. Let's assume you have a, a Salesforce tool or any other uh, CRM tools which is connected to Q business. You can literally, uh, you don't have to you know, log into that applications and find out you can write a simple prompt on Q business to get all the support uh, tickets. Even if you have uh, priority tickets uh, that are, you know, breaching the SLA, you can query such, uh, you know, information and uh, present it to the executives. Okay, and um, yeah, um, so even if you have like a Teams or a Slack, uh, which is used in your uh, enterprise, you can even execute, generate an executive summary of you know, Slack discussion or Teams discussion. Now I'll show you the demo. Okay, so I am on the browser. Uh, I am now uh, signing into my AWS console.
okay as soon as you log into aws console uh, you will see all the you know recently visited um, you know services and then the applications and on the right top side this is where you will find amazon queue all you have to do is you click on this amazon queue and uh, you can basically ask any questions like how you uh, get into chat gpt or any other uh, gpt tools you can directly ask a questions like you know show me the users with admin you know roles okay you don't have to navigate to like im and then find out uh, who has you know what uh, certain roles all you have to do is just type in in a plain english you just type in your question and then send it and uh, this will help us identify the users with admin roles okay so if you scroll down now it is listing our im users with administrative permissions so i have like a three um, users with admin so it is listing on all those it, it is also giving us roles with significant service you know specific uh, permissions like uh, there is a glue role uh, which has full access to the glue and s3 there is a dynamo db you know full access to dynamo db and s3 so it gives us with a lot of you know insights about that and also you can ask like show me the list of uh, s3 buckets you can also do this you don't have to go to like you know s3 service and then go to navigate to you know buckets so it's very easy here uh, you just type in the prompt and it will show all the s3 buckets in the in account right so these are some of the buckets i created for my own you know learning purpose and um, yeah here are those you can even show even say that you know show me the list of files inside you can you can just type in any you know this all right now it is reading my s3 bucket and it will list down all the files that were you know uploaded okay so now it is getting the data and also you can upload also um, so let's assume that you know you have the some data files or some csv files on your local laptop what you can do is you can write a you know prompt saying upload uh, so and so file from my you know downloads folder to s3 bucket so that it will also do uh, s3 put operation as well so right now it is doing a s3 list object right these are some of the file i created so similarly uh, you can also upload files you can read the files you can rename the files you can do a whole lot of operation whatever you do uh, on the aws console this amazon queue will help us uh, do all that okay so this is one way of uh, interacting with amazon queue the other way is uh, terminal so let's assume that you know you have ec2 or even your local laptop um, or any server uh, with the terminal access you can do that okay see now i am on the terminal right uh, here we can type q chat so as soon as i you know hit enter q chat it's gonna uh, get into that q chat and then we can ask questions and get the answers right so this is the initial screen of amazon q now i'll um, ask the same question right show me the list of users okay see here uh, we have it is now listing down all the users since we are doing it on the uh, terminal uh, we will have to allow whether this command uh, should be accepted trusted or not so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and type t t means trust okay because it's my own uh, computer so i just give the t okay so here are the users on your system right so this is how <coughs> you can do upload also here upload one of the you know files from downloads into my s3 bucket
okay i have specified um s3 bucket so it's going to randomly pick one you know file from downloads and it will upload it to you know my bucket you can also do that i hope you get to learn uh, something new today um, if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are new and uh, share the videos happy learning